Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Caravan of Garbage, where I just want to say up top, I just want to reiterate, Mason, that I freaking love Zorro. Mm. I freaking love it, Mason. Is that why we're doing this? Yeah, I will, look, I was looking for an excuse to look at these Zorro movies. Mm -hmm, sure. And there's a new Spanish Zorro series this year. Oh, Low Zorro? <laughs> yes. Il Zorro? Very, Los Zorro. Very Low Zorro. Mr. Zorro. Well, Zorro means fox. Oh. In Spanish. Okay. I believe. And what colour's a fox? What does the fox say? I think you meant to say. No, what we want are... topical references. No, I understand that, but like, is there a black fox? Do black foxes exist? Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, sure. man. Okay. Because you'd think he'd be like a russet brown, wouldn't sure, you? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying. You know? Yeah. yeah. Just he could roll himself in mud. He could do it. He could wear white, and then he could roll himself in like some some mud at like a building site or something, and he'd come <laughs> up all like rusty brown. You know? Okay. Sure. And then okay. Be like it's Zorro. That's lost Zorro. <laughs> You know? Yeah, I see what you're saying, but that's not what they've gone with. Please leave a like, because, of course, we are talking about The Mask of Zorro this week. Mm -hmm. My goodness. You um, know it when you see it, don't you? You certainly do, but this one's a good one. Okay. Some of the other ones were good ones. Yeah, but this one also made a lot of money. Yeah, and I think this one might be a cut above. Yeah, well, it was directed by Martin Campbell. Yeah. Who did Gold and I, <laughs> who did Casino Royale. Royale. That's right. <laughs> Mask of Zorro. <laughs> Another another one, one another one in the bag. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Just a little bit of background about this character, in mm -hmm. case people don't know. Go on. So the original Zorro story is from 1919. It's a Johnston McCulley novel. Okay. A very Spanish name. Yeah, well, he's, a, he's an American man. He's a very okay. American man. Is this a Dr. Fu Manchu situation? <laughs> No, he's it's very... Oh, look, I read the original book. You love Zorro. I do love Zorro! It's time you realise you love Zorro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing about Zorro is, if you look at the date that he was created... Go on. He's basically Batman. Mm. This guy created Batman. I mean, Batman even references it because his parents are often shot coming out of seeing Zorro. Not always. Mm. If you look at the Batman... Sometimes with, they're coming out of Tokyo Drift. <laughs> sometimes they are. Well, I was going to say... Depending on the time period when it's set. Well, the new The Batman, mm. Robert Pattinson's Batman, if he was to see a Zorro movie, it would have been this one. Oh, my God. That's right. Wow. I love the part where Zorro slashed the lady's clothes and they came off. Didn't look entirely natural. <laughs> it, it looked like two stagehands whipped her dress down. It looked kind of weird. Mum, Dad, no, it's Joe Chill. Bang, bang, <laughs> bang. I also saw the mask of Zorro and I didn't like it. <laughs> didn't like it? Mm -hmm. He really is a monster. That's right. So look, your dual identity, the mask situation, mm -hmm. a well-trained rich guy. That's right. All of these things that Batman is doing, Zorro did first. That is true. And I'll tell you what, you couldn't make the mask of Zorro today. And I'll tell you for why, James. Why's that? Because. Too sexy. Well, too, certainly sexy and charismatic. Antonio Banderas is so charismatic in this movie that he can make close-up magic seem charming. Oh, my God. Ooh, a rose. Ooh. And it's, ooh, not get away from me. <laughs> you stupid rose. It's up your sleeve, idiot. Get out of here. You couldn't make it today because while I'm sure there were fans of the character of Zorro in 1998, mm. there wouldn't have been a Zorro fandom. But nowadays, there'd be a Zorro fandom. Right, okay. As in people who are like, I'm going to prove that I'm the greatest fan of Zorro that ever was. And this movie has the original Zorro, Don... Don Diego de la Vega. Thank you. Being replaced by just another guy. <laughs> It'd be like if they did an MCU Spider-Man movie and Peter Parker got replaced by some guy Kevin Feige made up. Oh, my God. Right? Some guy Kevin Feige made up. Sure. But he knows what he's doing, right? Mm. He's got that baseball hat. Oh, my God. He's got all these right. notes in it. It's true. Hopefully it doesn't get too sweaty in his notes smudge. Mm. Okay, sorry. It'd be like if they made a Spider-Man movie and Peter Parker was replaced by a guy Avi Arad made up. Oh, God. <laughs> I think this idea works, though. Mm -hmm, sure. First of all, can we talk a little bit about the build-up to this? So Martin Campbell came in after Robert Rodriguez pitched a version which was more R-rated. He'd obviously worked with Antonio Banderas before. That's right. So it makes sense that he kind of carried over. Cinematographer Mikhail Salomon revealed that Steven Spielberg was set to direct and Tom Cruise was going to be the producer and was Spielberg's original choice. But Tom Cruise said, you need a Latino lead. He's very, he's, he knows what, he, he, knows, knows. he knows what makes a good movie. That's right. He knows that when you, you know, you got you need a Latino lead if, you, if your main character's Latino. If your main character's six foot five, 
and built like a brick wall, you get Tom Cruise. You know? <laughs> That's right. That's how you know. Mm. And there is the thing, right? This movie has it all. Action, romance, heart, fancy outfits, revenge, stunts, dancing, tiny little glasses. It has everything except Mexicans. <laughs> That is true. Well, I was going to say as well, it's got swinging off a chandelier. Yep. It's got standing on a big round table, sword fighting 10 guys that are surrounding you. Yeah. It's got trying to fight a guy who's too big, and you're like, I'll just do a regular punch on this guy. It'll stop him. It didn't stop him. It's too big. It's too big. Ah! Just he's throwing me around. Knock all these teeth out. I thought he wouldn't throw me around, even though he's too big. Yeah. This is a nearer way of getting your teeth knocked out. That's basically a death sentence. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But look, I just just to come back to the cast, mm-hmm. you don't necessarily have to have Mexicans as long as they have that fiery Latin spirit. That's what they've gone for here. Yeah, so Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> he does he does have it. Let's be realistic, Mason. <laughs> a bit of fake tan and some eyeliner. <laughs> He's got it covered. Don't that's worry right, about that's it. That's right. Yeah. The fiery Welsh spirit of Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> And look, Don Pedro in this, he's he's played by a Mexican actor. And to be fair, Zorro himself is traditionally Spanish. He's a uh-huh. Spanish nobleman who's moved over. Okay, it, but is that... Hang on and wait. <laughs> and Antonio... Is that based on the, the original novel writer's extensive research? Or did he go, Mexico and Spain are the same, are they? Well, Zorro's loosely based on a real guy. Okay, so sure. potentially... And the thing about that is Antonio Banderas is Spanish. But also in this, he's not Spanish. He's Mexican. Mm. It's all it's all very blurry, Mason. I'm sure. not looking to cancel anybody. Okay, I'm just right. shooting facts. Couldn't make it these days. That's all I'm saying. You probably could. You probably could. Yeah. I mean, they're making that Spanish one. That's true. And they're talking about bringing him back. We'll, we'll get to that in the next video. And I'll tell you what, Mason. With the opening and Anthony Hopkins' Zorro... Boy, his body double is doing a lot of heavy lifting, isn't Absolutely. he? I hope he got paid very well yeah. for all the gymnastic work. Oh, mate, all the all the body doubles, all the stunt doubles, all the horses that clearly have incredible shock absorbers built into them because there's <laughs> yeah. people jumping on them from oh, yeah. 30 feet in the air <laughs> off a balcony. Incredible. Absolutely. And the thing about all the stunt stuff is and the sword fighting, most of this Antonio Banderas did himself. Oh, very talented swordsman and stunt performer. There's some good sword fights in this. Completely that is agree. undeniable. Yeah. He's double sword fighting sometimes. <laughs> that's right. God damn, that's hard. What I love about the fight scenes in this, and it goes back to the original Zorro in this, Don Diego oh, de la Vega. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that he's just big on humiliation. Sure. He's a real rapscallion, Mason. A scoundrel. <laughs> he is a scoundrel. Mm, yeah. That's what I like about it's him. This, this whole movie's a real My Fair Lady situation, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Starts as a scoundrel, got to become a gentleman. Oh, I tell you what. What a beautiful coupling in young Zorro and old Zorro. I'm Absolutely. loving that pairing. I'm loving the training montage. Mm-hmm, Push-ups sure. over candles. Ooh, very romantic. Drinking and smoking. Drinking and smoking. <laughs> Just like an old VFL football player <laughs> from the 80s. <laughs> Which one? Name one. Plugger. <laughs> Perfect. You thought I couldn't name one, but I could. <laughs> I knew you could. That's your era. <laughs> For people who don't know, VF, it's Australian rules football. Back in the day, it was just blokes who were also just butchers <laughs> during the week. And yep. they were just Heavy the, smokers. Yeah, play the game on the weekends, yeah. <laughs> That's it. So I love that pairing. I love the idea of them like building towards... You know, this climax together, if you will, Mason. Oh, 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 my goodness. And speaking of, we've also got the pairing of Catherine Zeta-Jones and Antonio Banderas. Mm -hmm. I mean, it reminds me of, and it is that similar era of, you know, the Rachel Weisz, Brendan Fraser. Like, it's got that kind of dynamism to it. You don't often see that Or an Antonio Banderas and a Salma Hayek. Or anybody, really. Yeah, Antonio Banderas and anybody, or Salma Hayek and anybody. (laughs) Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. All of those would work. Yeah, and now we're getting the movie Ghosted. And I don't feel anything when I watch ghosted every day well i mean the mask of zorro employed a trick Mm -hmm. which ghosted doesn't which is they had both the actors in the same set at the same time is that a new thing that is that is an old (laughs) thing and now it's just been replaced by two uh very famous actors recording in separate mansions (laughs) in the blue screens in their homes that's perfect actually and you know this movie is responsible for michael douglas pursuing Catherine zeta jones did he see her in this movie he was like that's a sexy lady that's a sexy welsh lady with a fiery welsh passion yep and it's also responsible for his throat cancer which he's recovered from you can google that we don't need to get into it. Bless him. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> ah. God, there's so many little moments in this that I love, Mason. Go on. Remember the bit where Zorro pulls out his sword and then it glints in the sun? Oh, and he's yeah. He's like, I'm ready for some revenge right now. That's right. You're going to fucking get it. Yeah, yeah. You know? The bit where Antonio Banderas is about to go into the fancy do and he checks his sword cane just to make sure it's still there. Oh, yeah. And nobody notices. 
<laughs> no one's looking. It's just a letter opener for, yeah. for opening fancy <laughs> paperworks and so forth. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Uh, one of my favorite moments is uh, when Antonio Banderas goes into the stables and he uh, meets a horse that has the same haircut as he does. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> it's so good. I called him Antonio Banderas. <laughs> That's great. You're welcome. Everyone in the world. <laughs> I like how his facial hair keeps changing throughout the movie sure. and his haircut in general. Yeah, absolutely. What's he going to turn up as next? I mean, you know? that's some Batman stuff right there. That's exactly. Some, that's some Matches Malone shenanigans, yeah, yeah. you know? There's a moment where he shaves in a little thin moustache mm. and then later you see him peel off the moustache and I'm like, God damn. <laughs> Okay, here's a complaint. I bet Tom Cruise, when he was pushing this through, he was like, give, give us some Mission Impossible stuff. Oh, you yeah. Know? Could they do like a 1800s uh, a mask machine? You can't? Mm-hmm. Mustaches then. Mustaches then. Here's my complaint, Mason. Go on. I think Zorro should always have a mustache. Okay. Just, sure. yeah, in all aspects of life. I know it's you, you gotta you gotta suspend disbelief because when he's Don Diego de la Vega or whoever Alejandro is That's the guy's right. name mm-hmm. yeah yeah I, I'm, th- these names are difficult to say do you think in an Australian that, accent do you think then there should have been as part of his training Old Zorro should have insisted that New Zorro grow a mustache yes and he's like your training isn't complete until you <laughs> oh you can't grow a mustache well I guess you're out he can grow a mustache we've seen him <laughs> oh. he's mustache he's must he's mustached up Mason earlier <laughs> he's mustached up yeah you know what I think the, n- another huge driving force of this movie why it works so well for me at least Mason mm-hmm. and everybody agrees because if you don't like this movie quite frankly you'd just st- step off a cliff but <laughs> it's yes step, step off a cliff <laughs> or be under a big uh, cart filled with gold bars <laughs> with your boss on it that's right he's also dying it's a it's a it's a rare double death of both the villain and the henchman at the same time that's what I'm saying Double revenge, mm. double death. That's right. Because if you're not really feeling one of them, mm-hmm. which I was, by the way, I was <laughs> heavily invested in both. Well, they're both terrible dudes. Yeah, There's man. There's the old dude, and he he killed he killed old Zorro's uh, uh, wife. Yep. And there's the new and guy. And stole his daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's the new guy that looks exactly like... General Custer? No. He... Eobard Thorne from no. The Flash, because it is him? No. He's, uh, he's the US agent. What's that guy's name? Oh, Wyatt uh, Russell. Wyatt Russell? He looks exactly like Wyatt Russell. Not really. If they, were, if they made this movie today, they'd have Wyatt Russell in that role. <laughs> You're probably right, mm. yeah. But I love just, just parallel revenge stories. What if what if New Zorro wasn't feeling it as much? Like he didn't have a revenge mission to go on. Well, he wouldn't have been given the chance to be a Zorro. Old Zorro would just be like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> just can you find somebody you hate? Find someone you hate. We'll put them both in a room together. We can stab them both at the same time. It can time. be me. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Look at me swatting you with my the edge of my sword. That's right. Now, now you're my nemesis. <laughs> but I love that Anthony Hopkins in his revenge. It's really kind of lackadaisical. It's Anthony De La Hopkins. Thank you. I appreciate that. He's just tired and it really feels like this is it for him he's like look i'll just do this one thing and then you can shoot me or stab me or whatever like drop the gold bars on me yeah it's fine fine. because there's moments where like you know he'll have the villain and he's ready to run him through and and then they're like well we got a gun on you and he's just like all right i'm coming i'm this this isn't over i'm Mm. but you know i I just want to lie down can we just wrap this up look if what's going to happen here is you're going to fire that gun and if you miss in the 10 minutes it's going to take you to reload it, I am going to stab you. So, <laughs> And even if you hit me, it's going to take me 10 minutes to die. At least. And you better believe my stuntman's going to be doing some sword work on you. That's right. I think Anthony Hopkins does do a fair bit of the stunt stuff in this, mm. the sword fighting, I should, yeah. I should point out. Also, I think the final battle's great. There's some good kind of what feels like in the moment impromptu stuff. There's, there's a There's a slide on a shovel that's mm. really good. There's a water slide at one point. Mm. Oh, speaking of slides, a moment that I loved in this um, uh, movie was when uh, New Zorro's old partner, he wants to get revenge mm-hmm. and he's in the mining cart. Oh, and yeah. He, and he lets the mining cart off and he and he, and he he <laughs> sails down the track and he leaps out with the, with the pickaxe and he gets shot. And I'm like, what if he didn't? <laughs> like the legend of that dude would, would have far eclipsed that of Zorro's. The mining cart axe leaping through the air guy. That guy? He, he was already a bit of a legend. That's but true. imagine if he pulled this off. Right. He'd be like a VFL legend. Quick and name another one. Dermot Brereton. <laughs> Very good. <laughs>
I think he's come up a couple of times in these videos. Absolutely, yes. My friend served him at a subway once. Wow, what did he get? He got uh, a, a, something with a jalapeno on it, he said. Oh, that's classic. <laughs> that that's class classic Dermy. That's big Dermy mm. for you. So the ending of this as well, after they save everybody in the mines and whatever. You know, Zoro has a little baby Zoro. Mm, we'll sure. Come back to that next week. Mm. That was added because they thought it was a little kind of grim to have Anthony Hopkins die and then... Oh, incredible explosion, by the way. Oh, yes. Loving all of that. Mm. And then they just kind of... And the movie ends. But but yeah, that's that's all good and fine. And then the title card that just said, the spirit of old Zorro went into the body of baby Zorro and he's <laughs> alive again, but a baby. <laughs> and the circle is complete. Oh, another thing I love about Zorro, and I feel like this is missing from a lot of like superhero characters. I feel like you're banging on about how good Zorro is. And I'm like, man, there's a time and the place for that, all right? A separate Zorro video? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> A YouTube short? Sure, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, cool. What I love is, because I feel like a lot of superheroes are kind of missing this, is that Zorro will inspire a riot. Sure, just yeah. wh whatever he's doing. Yeah. He'll run through a crowd mm -hmm. and it just inspires people to freak out. That's more of a Joker. <laughs> it uh, is. Uh, more, more of a Joker uh, attribute there, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. God, Zorro's good, isn't he? Pretty good. In all incarnations, probably. Mm. I love the 90s TV show. I think that's what got me hooked on Zorro it's a initially. a 90s TV oh, show? Oh, yeah. There's a big Who's one. Who's Zorro in that? Zorro. Wow. Don Diego de la Vega. Wow. Standard original recipe Zorro. Okay. It's not modern day Zorro. No, no, like no. Like that version of the Phantom we all love. The TV I, version of the Phantom. The thing about Zorro is there's been a lot of different pictures and like things that they want to do with Zorro. Mm. Every now and then you hear of an attempt. It's probably even happened in like animation where it's like Zorro but the modern day. I don't feel like it's a character that works in the modern day. There was a pitch for a post-apocalyptic Zorro. Oh, sure. I think that would work. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the, the tricky thing, of course, is that, it, you know, it needs to be in a world that doesn't have, like, constant surveillance. In a world and... without constant surveillance. Exactly. You put on a mask and you leave the room and you take the mask off and you come back in and you're like, what happened? Was Zorro here? By the way, the original book is just a lot of that. Of course it is, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, if they did it in the modern world, mm -hmm. what cinema is he leaving? He's seen the Batman. <laughs> he would. And then his parents are killed or whatever, and he's like, I better become Zorro. Yeah. Also, I'm going to need someone else to do revenge with me. Double revenge. <laughs> That's right. We know that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now it's time for our famous segment, Mason, the Mask of Trivia. I love that. The trivia section of the show where we look at trivia. So the title of this movie is the last Zorro story written by its original creator, Johnston McCulley. Oh. And that was published in a April 1959 issue of the pulp magazine Short Stories for Men. I love that. You read Cause, these? Because men don't have time for long stories. No, nah, man. Mm. Not when you get to get back to the mines or back to your wood shopping. That's right. Yeah. Or maybe you work in the, 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 the theatre. Bloody building those stages, though, that's you know? <laughs> that's right. Banging them, clanging them, yeah, putting them together. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you're banging and clanging a poem together, you know? <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> Legendary sword trainer Bob Anderson, who trained Errol Flynn, but hopefully just in the good stuff, not all the terrible things that he did. Mm, he got different trainers for those. It's fine. <laughs> I think he did a lot of that by himself, to be honest. <laughs> you think he pioneered those particular arts? I don't know if he pioneered them. I just think he just probably... Perfected them. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's... Yeah. I guess you can perfect a terrible thing. Yeah. He remarked that Antonio Banderas was the most gifted swordsman who he'd worked with since Errol Flynn. Banderas also trained with the Spanish Olympic team for four months. You really see that as well, you know? Yeah. In all the things that he's doing. And he won that gold medal. <laughs> for standing on a table and fighting ten dudes at once with a sword. Very cool. Mm. Raul Julia was originally supposed to play Don Diego de la Vega, uh, but he died before he took on the role. I support that 100%. It You're didn't dying. happen. dying. No. <laughs> No, Mason. Wow. You've, you've twisted my words. I haven't twisted You've anything. twisted them back on me. Yeah, I have, actually. This yeah. is a, these videos are a place of honesty and honour like Zorro. Sometimes there's a riot like Zorro. Should we start a riot? Yes. <laughs> there's no one else here. Do you, want, do you want me to inspire you to start a riot? Yes, or? please. Hey, let's rise up against um, these, these dumb asses who do caravan of garbage. Let's get them. <laughs> We're getting them. This is what people want? I think so. Cool. And Sean Connery turned down the part of Don Diego de la Vega. Wow. He's a swordsman. He's done swords movies I've got to go do LXG. <laughs> I've got to turn down the Matrix sequels. Catherine Zeta-Jones. <laughs> I won't work with a Welsh woman. I mean, he did in Entrapment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I won't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> I don't like how she got past all those lasers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust her. Fair enough. Now, the box office for this, on a budget of $95 million, it made $250 million. Nice. That's pretty good, mate. Mm. 
Uh, and it obviously led to an eventual sequel. Oh, yeah, quite a few years later, right? That's right, 2005. We'll come back to it next week. It's called The Legend of Zorro, though I feel like this one should have been called The Legend of Zorro. It's not important. These are confusing titles because they can they just kind of mean anything. And the one that Bruce Wayne saw was called The Mark of Zorro. Ah, oh, man. Come on, man. I mean, that's a real one too, isn't it? Maybe. Do you like it when he slashes a Z into a guy? I don't like it when they say Z. Yeah. It you should don't like be it? Z. Yeah, well, you know. Mm. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. <laughs> You know what this movie also made me think? What? Why doesn't Australia have a people's champion in the vein of Zorro? Just righting wrongs and poking people in the bum with swords. We got Ned Kelly. He was pretty cool. Shot a bunch of cops. I guess. <laughs> did some Errol Flynn style stuff as yeah, well, he did I reckon. Yeah, he did some bad stuff too. <laughs> mm, yeah. And I guess he inspired Reckless Kelly. So. That's true. Yahoo Series is Reckless Kelly. Which and he, which and he did a lot of good stuff. So, you did know, he? Yeah. he shot that ATM. That's rude. That's fine. You can shoot an ATM. It's fucking fine. Don't worry about it. Good luck. The Just edit- don't get caught. Good luck our editors getting any footage from Reckless Kelly. It's all on YouTube. Is it? I know that for a fact. Wow. I constantly check in. What about Mr. Accident? Is Probably, that on there? Uh, oh, good question. Yeah, man, it's all here. Oh, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Standard definition? Because I demand standard definition. Well, it was put on one year ago. 360p. That's Pretty bad, and that's perfect. It's standard as you want. Yeah, that, absolutely. Right. Anyways, as mentioned, come back next week for the next Zorro movie. And if you would like to see that early, you can actually head over to bigsandwich.co. You better believe it. So I got rattled because I was thinking about Zorro, how much I like it. You're going to be like, go find it at Zorro.com. <laughs> Check out Zorro.com. What do you think's there? Just a bunch of Zorro stuff. I, I doubt Probably it. a big Z. I bet it's parked and for sale. Because Zorro's in the public domain. Oh, we could do a Zorro. I couldn't do a Zorro. I don't know what this is. Oh, no. Oh, it's the show. It's the new show. Oh, they got Zorro to come. Perfect. That is great. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you didn't recognise it. No. Well, they're going in a weird direction with this show. I haven't watched it yet. I was watching. I will watch it. I love Zorro. I can also work on my Spanish. Turn the subtitles off and just kind of feel it, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, at BigSandwich.co, there's early videos. There's bonus podcasts. There's movie commentaries. We do video game Let's Plays. There's actually too much stuff going on there. There's thousands of hours of content. An upsetting amount of content. Completely agree. If you hate the word content, we've got so much there. Yeah, this is the place for you. Um, also, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. That comes out every Monday, if you are interested, it's on Spotify, YouTube, Apple, other things. Um, we're always talking. Too much. It could have been on Zorro.com, but they got in first. They got us. They got us, Mason. Yeah. Oh, well, next time. Next time, When we make our Zorro show. All right. Should we get out of here? Yes, we shall. Yes, we shall. I agree. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Remember when he scratched an M into that guy's neck? I thought he made a mistake. Oh, yes. I thought he he hadn't practiced enough, but he was like, it's for my brother. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, And also, I was trying to do the golden arches (laughs) as well. Boy, I'm actually hungry. It's actually kind of distracting. I think that's (laughs) probably thinking about getting a quarter pounder or something. Yeah, 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 absolutely.